Yo, what's up? I think I'm having a quarter life crisis. Almost 25 years old and I just feel like I should be doing a whole lot more than I am right now. I want to be doing shit. I just want to do so much more than what I'm doing here. Like what really hit me today was I was in the kitchen and my brother David was, he was just listening to his uh, music on his phone or whatever he was doing. And, and I was just in the kitchen. We weren't really talking and it just seems like that every day. Not that specifically, but like, it's just we do the same thing we're just kind of sitting there it just seems like nothing's really happening and yeah of course you can still do it here but like in california and los angeles it just seems like so much more is happening people have like a different kind of mindset you know the environment's different like that's gonna just i don't know it just seems like such a boost of energy over there and i just i have all this pent-up energy and like i just want to do so much and it's just like this environment is just not right for me it seems like we just work like have a little bit of time for you know fun here and there drink maybe go out but like it's kind of the same thing over and over again and i just want to do so much more like i want to move to fucking los angeles <laughs> it sounds crazy but i don't know i think it'll be a lot of fun um i mean i'm still young right now and i just like i just want to go out there i just want to do shit you know I guess, um, I guess that's it. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, we're going to be doing things. Big things, Joel. Okay. Big things. You ready for it? Yeah. It's going to happen in like four or five months. Okay. It's exciting. Yeah. Exciting stuff. But what? <laughs> You're not telling me. It might either. be hard. It's going to be fun. A lot of fun. Yeah. We're moving to Los Angeles, California. Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? Yes. <laughs> You're like, there's no way. With what money, bitch? <laughs> it's fine. We'll, we'll be okay. For real. We'll serious? be fine. Yes, I'm We're serious. We're moving to LA. Yes. <laughs> We're moving there. Wait, why? <laughs> because I really, really, really want to move there. Are you? And, and, and in short, of course there's more, but in short. LA. Yep. Okay, so things went serious pretty quick after this. Joel ended up getting pretty upset about it. We talked about it, but a few weeks later, we actually got kicked out of our place. And when she realized that we were really gonna move basically the next day, she was uh, she was very upset, especially because she had to leave all of her new found friends behind. Alrighty, so it's Kelsey here. I met Joe in picture. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I met Joe and Victor not too long ago. <laughs> We've become close friends. We've become really close and they're leaving. They're leaving literally tomorrow morning and we didn't find out until last night, so I'm like We didn't big find sad. out until last night. <laughs> but I'm big sad. It was not a good speech. It was a good speech. When we're having fun with the people we care about, we usually aren't aware of the happiness we feel. Sometimes we have to make a conscious effort to remember the good times so we don't forget about each other. It's coming. I'm about to cut. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Here it is. Yes. Los Angeles, motherfucker! Woo! Yeah, we're poor as fuck, but uh, we'll make it somehow. Uh, going to Los Angeles. <laughs> I'm over here. Hey, we're going to Los Angeles. <laughs> Look, Los Angeles, 87 miles! Did you see it? No. Damn. Trust me, it said 87 miles, though. So. We're about to be <clears throat> in LA. In How do you feel? I feel. Like it's about damn time. We've been in this car for way too long. <laughs> we're minutes away from LA right now, and it's pretty exciting. Yes, we're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. Yes! 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 On California 60 for 11 miles. Uh oh. Ne never mind. There's never mind. a. There's more road. Never mind. There's. There's more road. road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we made it. Look, they have so many awesome things here. Like they Dentist, have a, they have a KFC. Taco Bell. 
You can't. Yeah, there you go. You can see KFC. You said there's a dentist there's where? A taco, there's a where? Dentist over there. Look, there's a dentist here. There's so many things. Look, there's cars. Dunkin Donuts. There's a, there's a Dunkin Donuts. Like what the fuck? We're in this motel for right now. We only spent the night uh, one night, so we basically. So came here with about $1,600. Uh, we basically drove here in like three days. Our plan is basically this. Sleep in the car. We both have gym memberships at Planet Fitness so we can take showers and brush your teeth and work out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, we'll be <laughs> fucking homeless once again. Um, but it's okay, because as soon as we get jobs, we're gonna start getting some money, and we'll have a place to stay, and then um, start another journey from there. <laughs> we're really trying to penny pinch here. Now you guys will see like a real like account of like what happened from people that like didn't come here with money like didn't come here like with a YouTube fan base like already like built up enough or like you have already yeah I have 71 subscribers I don't I'm not making and I shit have zero. <laughs> and I have zero you're seeing like a real story of like this journey and like how hard it is and like the real stuff anyways I guess that's um that's it yeah wish us luck I'm still here. <laughs> Day whatever. Three. Three in LA. And we just had to sleep in the car again after staying at a motel. It was fine. Last Man, night. It was I not like, fine. I did good. <laughs> it's not fine. You can sleep anywhere. But I woke up like so many times during the night just because I was uncomfortable. It's hard right now because I can't pull my seat back. I can't get comfortable. So like this little seat area is basically like all I had to sleep in and so like I'm uncomfortable. Yes, I'm bitching. <laughs> it's hard. It's not comfortable sleeping in your car. It's not that hard. It is. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm going to the UPS store to get my resume. And Joel's gonna get her birth certificate and resume as well. So scratch the UPS store. We gotta go uh, to the library to use the computers because they won't allow us to use the computers there. This is just another it's just another roadblock, right, Joel? We keep coming across these. It goes from not having a place to stay to Stuckle's food getting uh, old and uh, just like a lot of roadblocks, you know? Motel is 55, it's supposed to be $55 online and then it said that it was completely booked for whatever reason because it wasn't. At first she said it was like 65 and then it ended up being $75, which may not seem like a big difference, but God damn it, we're poor as fuck. So 55 to $75 is a big difference. The air conditioner randomly stops working. Um, My tire blew. Oh yeah, her fucking tire blew. My I tire forgot about blew that. On the interstate in Arizona or New Mexico. It no, took us back in like- In Arizona. Yeah, it took us back like four hours. Because we had to have some guy find us because we were in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. My tire when it blew, it pulled out wiring that wasn't supposed to be pulled out. So the guy had to plug it back in. My car didn't want to turn on anymore. The battery died. Shit happens, you know? Not everything's gonna happen the way that you want it to, no matter how bad you want it. Cause I would love to just have a job, have a place to stay, go to the UPS store and use their goddamn computer, but that's not gonna happen and that's fine. I don't know where you're from, but this is expensive as shit. <laughs> I just scared the shit out of Joelle. I'm mad at I'm you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I fucking saw the Hollywood sign. I went like, oh shit, and I put it right across her face and she got so scared. I looked over and right past Joelle's face and I was all like, oh shit. It's the fucking Hollywood sign! You didn't say that, you just said, oh shit, and pointed. But I was thinking the Hollywood sign, you can see it! So we're at the Grove right now, and we're about to go apply at some places. Wish us luck! Here at the Grove, trying to find jobs. Because uh, this is a place to be, right? To get a job. It's pretty sick, honestly. So Joelle just went into Zara's about 20, 30 minutes ago, and she's been talking to the manager for like 20, 30 minutes, and she gave me a thumbs up as she was walking across uh, the street. They went across the street for some reason, but as uh, they crossed the street, she gave me a thumbs up, so it's probably good news. I got hired. You got hired? I got hired. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to... You got hired? Yeah, I got hired. Fuck oh, yes. Fuck oh, yes. How does it feel? Feels good. Feels yeah. like really? secure. Yeah. Secure. Like, do you know how much you get paid? Uh, it was fifteen dollars. My girl's gonna take care of the both of us now. I'll, I can just be jobless. It's fine. Yo, woo, we out here, boys. <laughs> no, we're still homeless. And explain to them what happened about the. Last clip you probably saw was me saying that I had a job. Unfortunately, though, because I wasn't prepared like I didn't have I don't have my social security card I have no idea where that went they wouldn't accept a copy of my birth certificate which I have on my email they said that they have to see like though they have to have like the original so basically that job's not gonna work out yeah it sucks it's a little bit of a setback but it's okay 
How much money would you say we have now? I, would, I was thinking earlier, we probably have like 1100, 1200, maybe. Maybe about that, 1100, 1200. Um, but uh, besides that, um, we're about to eat some noodles. some noodles, some cup of noodles. I'm actually pretty excited about it. I didn't really eat a whole lot today and I feel like I'm gonna be losing a lot, a lot of weight in the next few weeks since we're gonna be homeless and shit. Um, I don't even have a fucking, we don't even have silverware. <laughs> we don't have silverware and like that also sucks. It's just like, you realize how much you're not prepared. <laughs> yeah, we got some plastic silverware at um, Walmart the other day. They were free. It was at the, um, the deli. The deli. And uh, I accidentally threw them away when I finished my food and I was like, fuck. Now we gotta eat noodles with our hands. It's fine though. Yeah, it's fine. I guess. <laughs> it's gonna have to be. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. Okay. Okay. It's LA. Um, day two. <laughs> so in LA, there's a lot of Rouse, and that's the store we're in right now. Now, it's not the best of stores. It's no Publix. It's not homey, you know. But uh, check out this bathroom. It's crazy. <laughs> this bathroom has a fucking code on it to get in. Isn't that crazy? But they got this clearance section, which is amazing. 49 cents. Yeah. 99 cents for this bread. Fucking 99 cents for all these donuts. Great ass deals. Now this might be something that LA natives are used to. Is definitely not something that we're used to. Enter the number of bags you wish to purchase. An important note I remind myself every now and then is things usually work out in the end. They just need time. Most everything that we've encountered in our lives, we made it through somehow. Sometimes we just have to zoom out and look at our lives from a higher perspective. If we can see the timeline of our lives from above, we we can see that we have struggles, but then we make it through. Some are harder than others, and some take longer than others. Most tough things we went through, we've already resolved. We just have to remember that whatever struggles that we have right now, are temporary. Victor and I had this thing where we would celebrate if we got jobs and the celebratory meal that I wanted was Jack in the Box. It was $3.99 like combo deal and like that's all I wanted but I can't have that now because I can't celebrate now because I don't have a job. So I like nearly cried over that. Sometime later. He's in the library at the moment printing something out so he can get his license because Bitch, it expired, so I've been doing all the driving. He doesn't know, but I got a job at Javiana's. They want me to start on Monday. So if you are at the Grove and you want to come see me, bitch, I'm at Javiana's selling flip-flops. So he doesn't know, so I'm going to surprise him when he gets in the car. Um, Better. Yes? Javiana's called. Called you? Yeah. Sweet. Oh, no. No. What she say? What she, she say? I'm kidding. They want me to start on Monday. Huh? Oh, they want me to start on Monday. So you want to start on Monday? They want me to start on Monday. You feel better? I feel I good. I, I feel, feel good, good about it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Honestly, I'm so fucking happy that you got a, got a job. <laughs> me too. Yes. 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 <laughs> Things are looking up. Things are looking up. My girl's got a job. I got a job. My girl's got a job. I got a job. And she's gonna take care of us so I don't have to get a job. Get a job. <laughs> nope, not gonna get a job. <laughs> He's getting a job. <laughs> How's it feel though? Feels really good. Honestly, it makes me feel really good too. I feel like more secure. Yeah. And we're about to go to Jack in the Box! How's it feel? It's really good. Yeah? Yeah. Smell it. Okay. <laughs> Wait for this moment. This, this moment to get Jack in the Box. <laughs> you can only get it once you got a job and now you have a job. Now I have a job. That's really good. Yeah. We're at Barnes and Nobles, but guess what? It's fucking three stories. <laughs> Isn't that sick? <laughs> Be jealous. But guess what, bitches? Yo, Asian got a job. Actually, potentially three. <laughs> the valet place wants me to start Sunday. I uh, filled out some stuff for this guy to help his elderly mother. And I'm also going to be working with a YouTuber uh, doing some film work and editing. So I'm pretty fucking stoked. Guess where the fuck we're going now? For Saigon, noodle and grill. How's it feel? 
feels honestly amazing to get a fucking job. Two jobs. This is in celebration. We can't eat like this every day though. This is only in celebration. I'm excited as fuck. It's good. It's hot. <laughs> So things never work out the way you want them to, huh? Not in this case anyways. So the guy that needed help with his elderly mother actually ended up being a scam. <laughs> and then the job as a video editor and videographer, uh, that went well for a little bit. The guy that I was working with ghosted me. So I was out of two jobs. So we've been staying in this car for maybe a week now. And honestly, he's been really cozy. Um, uncomfortable. Anyways, we just counted our money and uh, we're staying at a hotel or a motel. <laughs> I was trying to like surprise you. I actually didn't know if we weren't. I knew you wanted to, but you didn't know. No, tell no, me I've been keeping it in this anything. whole time. I'm like really stoked. We have over a thousand bucks. I'm like really stoked. I was trying to keep it in this whole time. Really? Yeah, and I was like, oh my god, we're actually gonna stay here. And I was like, okay, let me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, honestly. <I'm> <laughs> Guys, I've been sleeping in this fucking chair. You don't understand. <laughs> it's not comfortable at all. Yes, it is. No, it's, it's not. It's he can sleep. He sleeps sitting up like a fucking weirdo. So, right now. This bitch ain't picking up. Wait, here, her charcoal the... back again. Please leave your message for four. This bitch ain't picking up, so we're just gonna have to fucking go there and hope that they have a room available. Cause we're not staying in the car anymore! We're gonna sleep in a fucking motel! Woo! <laughs> I'm excited. You excited? You coming along? Come on, let's go. What are you doing? <laughs> I was praying to Mother Goddess. Mother Goddess, but for what? That we need this room. <laughs> I really hope she's being real nice today, cause I need it. <laughs> she's like, please Mother Goddess, please Mother Goddess. <laughs> Like, I don't think she's joking either. I'm not. I'm actually not. <laughs> it's getting real close right now. We're on the street. Like I said, shit just doesn't work out sometimes. And this is what happens next. So tonight didn't really go the way we planned. Uh, that woman that was talking to us ended up being a scammer. She um, was trying to lure us over there. I mean, she did lure us over there. I was um, running around the, the city for a little bit trying to find the motel and uh, it does not exist <laughs> and um, uh, it was a big mess for like an hour and a half two hours and it was just like a big disappointment for both of us we're really hoping that we're gonna be able to stay at a place I mean it was really too good to be true five hundred dollars for a month with a hundred dollar deposit and uh, thirty-five dollars for a dog. Like that's six hundred and thirty-five a month in Los Angeles. I mean, whatever. Anyways, Joelle's in her little spot, <laughs> ready for bed, and I'm tired as fuck myself. So, good night. want to give you an update. So actually today we got a bunch of snacks at Ralph's. We got a bunch of snacks and bread and shit from there. And uh, it was honestly really, really nice. Uh, I ate a whole uh, can of Pringles in like five minutes. And it was awesome. And Joel was really happy whenever he got that food too because we've literally been eating basically nothing but beans. And uh, cereal, like for a while. <laughs> so Joel and I are at the park right now, and um, well, we wanted to kind of have a little day of just, I guess, relaxing. Not like a whole day, but at least a couple hours of relaxing and chilling out. We've been doing nothing but work, basically. We've mainly been working on stuff since we've been here for the last week and a half. So it's nice to have a change of pace. Walking a little Doge too. This little doggy's stomach is about to touch the floor. <laughs> it's like an inch off the ground. <laughs> okay, so we just came across these cheese sticks on the ground. And uh, tell, tell them what you just said. I said, I was... <laughs> Basically, I said that I was like, tempted to grab She them. wanted to grab them, I thought it too. 
We actually might grab them for no, real. No, we're not. It's, we might no, grab them for real. We're not grabbing them. We're Honestly, not. We're we might. That. No, we're we might. No, I'm hungry. It smells like pee over here. I wouldn't grab them. But they're wrapped up. I know, but I wouldn't grab them. Does your hand smell like pee? No. So we actually didn't end up grabbing them. <laughs> for real, like I actually thought about it. But we did end up going to Ralph's another day. So we aren't this poor, but we did want to get rid of our change. And um, I, I mean, I guess that kind of makes us this poor, whatever. I just put in 180 pennies. I'm going. Life is like a movie. We all have our own stories to tell. We all have different lives we live. Without seeing each other's movies because we're too concerned about our own, we become unaware of the vast amount of amazing perspectives we could have seen. We must broaden our lens to become more intertwined with the universe. <laughs> as hippie as that sounds. That's what life is really about. Having a feeling of connectivity. Life is long, but it can be short if you only see one perspective. Goddamn dog. You're a goddamn animal.